Tensions have been high in the wake of a fatal officer-involved shooting that happened in June in Tupelo. The officer has been cleared by a grand jury of any wrongdoing, but marches and protests continue there in the city as some members of the community want the city to take action on a number of issues. WCBI's Allie Martin talked with a well-known businessman who tells us how those demonstrations have impacted his bottom line. On a typical Saturday, there's a steady stream of customers at Fair Park Grill. Oh, sure, 100, 150 probably. But during what would have been the lunch rush on July 30th, owner Bernard Bean says business at the popular restaurant nosedived. We only had three customers in the entire time. <laughs> on July 30th, hundreds of people marched to City Hall as part of an organized protest over the police shooting and calls for the city to take action on a list of demands. Bean says all businesses in the downtown area were on edge and some even closed that day, unsure of what would happen. Streets around City Hall were blocked off for hours as a precaution. There was no violence and while the longtime restaurant owner says he supports the right to march and protest peacefully, he says there are some employees who are hurt whenever customers can't or won't come in. There are employees that are commission based that work down here, that are tip based that work down here. And any time a business is slow, it really affects everyone's income. So it concerns me more about the employees' income and their livelihood than even my own. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! A march this past weekend drew fewer participants, but portions of some streets were blocked during the march. Also, Bean hired security during both rallies. One pastor who's been involved in organizing the marches says no one wants to harm any downtown businesses. He says the protests are just one way for people to show they're serious about their concerns. It would be nice if our business community would come out and uh, urge uh, that these issues be, a draw, be a sub resolved and be, a, be addressed. Uh, we're definitely not anti business. A date for a fourth march has not been set, but a boycott of stores that don't support the list of demands to the city is ongoing. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. Now, the city has not provided a dollar amount, but says each police officer who works on one of those protests is paid time and a half for every hour on the clock. 